Your Saturday evening should never be boring because guess what? I'll be here to bring you beautiful things on the show. It is Glam and Style on Galaxy TV, G Kone, and my pretty name is Shibra Aine Babas. Welcome to the show. Mulimutia Mugamba Mutia Banangi Wiki Badetia or Mani Mobeda Kumulim from Monday to Friday. I can imagine sometimes there is no fun or very young old board, but the star was it every Saturday Bella on a every into every happening in the fashion world. And guess what? Today on the blog corner, Nafumia Mukum, Uganda, Linga Bomani, Havana, and Balete the content. Oh, wow, and Nunga Mundi. So this time around, I went straight to New York to bring you the Met Gala red carpet. You could be wondering, Met Gala Chechi. Well, Met Gala, this is an annual fundraising event held for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute in the New York City. Well, this event happens each year on the first Monday of May. Yanti, you know, event, just well about it's first May. Hmm? first Monday of May. This is when this event happens. And one thing about this event is that there is always a theme of a dress code and people who attend the event have to dress accordingly. Tojangu yamba de like anyhow li choya gala no. Because there is always a theme of a dress code jeba choosing and if you attend you are supposed to dress accordingly. And by the way this event is not attended by everyone. No. They invite. If you're not invited Mukwano never sang out getting a just or sadi kids of anger where it all it out. Hey, go go because they usually uh, send invites to people they want to attend the event. So if you're not invited, sweetie, just stay home and sleep. Well, this year's uh, Met Gala theme was a tribute to Carl Lagerfeld, who was a creative fashion designer for Chanel. I think that nature that I show is that phones, as in Amasimu, are not allowed inside the event. So these things of snapping, simani take a Snapchat, take a Instagram. Neda mukwano teba bikiriza. Imagine ngawo jawa na kuzina odds ne bakugamba mani oyingira wali mu munda event ready but you are not supposed to snap but well i think they do this to keep the event exclusive atenge kola maudi denti they have to see all these things later afterwards and the other surprising fact or thing about this event is that it is so expensive this event for you to attend it imagine you have to be invited you have to pay over 180 million just one ticket as in one ticket oh my goodness mungula my nyumba emoto ka jenja gala budichimu chenja gala wano mungana manchi funa mwezo center but omutazi sasula just for one night one event one ticket na yenga banange we are not here to say ani asasule nyinji ani asasule nyinto no we are here to show you the fashion beat who rocked it and who did not rock it well, I'm starting with Doja Cat. This lady is not scared of going all out when it comes to fashion. Recently, Yadi Yasalaka Kapata, she went bald. Imagine, that's not something that anyone can do. Yes. And recently, she took the social media by storm with her Paris Fashion Week uh, appearance. She was, you know, wearing red from head to toe. First painted red with crimson uh, crimson crystals imagine imagine that as you can see on the screens look at that look hmm? imagine i'm sure she must have sweated to pull out that look but well for the met gala doja cat came looking like a cat just like her name she was done in that white hooded gown looking pretty i think she just wanted to pull off her name like you know cat being a cat she actually looked good and one funny thing about that event what she did that was really funny is when she was being interviewed Neva Mugamba hi Doja Cat and she was like meow uh, who dressed you meow <laughs> okay so tell me all about this meow I mean who wait so who made it meow wow okay so something a little different so what was your inspiration for tonight be honest with me and go into detail Wow. 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 So what are you excited to see in there today? Wow. It was actually funny, but well for Doja Cat paying tribute to Carl. I think that was a good idea. It was thoughtful, you know, showing up like her name, Doja Cat, and you want to look like a cat. I think that was not a bad way to go for the Met Gala. 
we move on to Lil Nas. Oh my goodness. Ah, this was like, just as the Met Gala is all about its fashion risks. I would say Lily Nas took the risk and came wearing nothing but just a metallic thong with silver paint all over his body. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> uh, uh, this is just a bit funny, but well, I would say that this guy took the naked dressing to another level. He wasn't scared, you know, when you're like, I'm not scared and I have to, to show it all. I'm not scared of being, I, I would say it's not being naked, but it's kind of like naked. It's just the silver paint all over the body and the silver boots. The only thing I like about this look, I think is just, just the face or the eye mask, but sweetheart, little nurse. Okay. Thank you for that. Well, putting Lil Nas aside, let's see how Janelle Monet rocked the Met Gala event. Well, this lady stripped, as in stripped. I don't, don't be like a tetua, mugenda kulaba bidi neda. But well, her outfit had as many layers as a plastic onion. But I think I love that upper look, the black and white tuxedo suit. It was looking pretty. And then she had, you know, okujamo yangwe paka when she, she was left with just a black bikini underneath yes yeah jayam but you know that court then naji jako you told about that kind of metallic sequin thing then paka we are to like it up oh we do we do go bundo wakari of love our screen i'm never on it cool motiano i'm waiting for people like maybe jasmine or maybe shiba shiba could actually pull off that look now yeah and that's how janelle manet rocked the met gala event well we move on to jared leto oh Mukwano, this guy grabbed people's attention with that life-size, you know, cat costume. He came looking like a cat and people could not actually recognize him at first. Not until we had Jacko the head and I went to together. Imagine showing up like that. Who would recognize you? I think I need to see someone. Maybe a bang and be editor for Baba and camera could juma. I joko and in a kugalak singer at one body did that costume. But I I think this was really thoughtful and it was really looking pretty. For the Met Gala, I would say, yeah, this was really nice. I would actually give him like maybe a 10 over 10. Then Kim Kardashian, the reality TV star, rocked the Met Gala red carpet wearing a ski apparel gown. With pearls from head to toe, as you can see on the screen, she was really looking glamorous as always. You know, Kim, when it comes to fashion, she never goes wrong. Usually, Avera or Muntunta Tegera, you know, at the assignment. But well, she actually got some backlash from people saying, But in an interview with Vogue, Kim said she did not feel the pressure. She just wanted to look glamorous so baby baby mugamba and stay on you may see my nyate and the amba doba chidi she said yali taliko pressure she just wanted to look glamorous but i would say yeah it was uh, okay i would say maybe eight out of ten yeah i expected more than that and next is bad bunny well this guy rocked the met gala event wearing an all white outfit Mm, okay it was really looking pretty but then the floral cape i don't know about that it kind of looks like that of rihanna i don't know who coped the other but regardless i would say he was looking you know fresh and neat for the event i, I love that the the the, the, the backless blazer it, it was really looking good and thoughtful for your man so i would say okay i would i, I would actually give him maybe a seven a seven out of ten yes for buddy bunny i would say he was, he was just looking clean like clean you know in all in the all white outfit the next is cardi b well the american rapper rocked the met gala event in different in different outfits she actually rocked four dresses that night i would say she was so ready for the event but i was amazed with her two looks the first two looks uh the first one was that pink gown with a with a large tulle. yeah the fact that cardi b is someone who is into bright colors i would say pink wasn't a bad idea for her but then from the pink gown she changed nayambala that black studio gown i would say that was actually pretty as in so pretty you know with that collar 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 shirt and then the tie and then the hair then the matching gloves I really love that look. She really looked outstanding and elegant. I would say Kadibi, yeah, I, 
the black outfit i would actually give it like a 8.5 and then the pink outfit i would say i would say seven i think that tule was a bit exaggerated but looking cool yeah then we move on to Asha. Well, the singer brought his dapper styles to the Met Gala wearing that black suit, looking elegant with matching gloves, uh, then the, the necklace, the shades. Okay, he was really just simple for the event. He was actually one of the first guys to hit the red carpet. So for Asha, I would say, mm, I think I would give him like, a, like eight. I love simplicity and I think that's what he, he brought to the event. And getting back to Africa, I guess who? Thames, I would say this lady is becoming like a cake on a party. She doesn't seem to be missing on these international events. Tom Labak Grammys, then the Oscars, and now Met Gala. But well, she brought out this beautiful look in a black and white gown. And exactly, she did not forget the headpiece but this time around it wasn't exaggerated like the one for the Oscars where people couldn't see what was taking place on stage I went to Abaliba today behind her they couldn't see what was taking place but this time around the headpiece is a bit simple I actually love it, it it's actually it looks pretty it's kind of like a tree and you know the small leaves the matching gloves yeah terms this time around it was a hit for me so I would say like a 9 over 10. It was a bit simple but classy and elegant. Well, putting terms aside, let's see. Kyle Jenner. Well, Kyle Jenner wore a John Paul red strapless gown with a blue cover up. I would say, I would say, a, a what? Guess, guess, Ngeda Mua Max Maker. Ngeda Mua 8 out of 10. I love simplicity. And Carl Jenner is someone who is into simple outfits. She's not someone who is into Sanganga, you know, you make exaggerated looks a bit very simple. And then the thigh high slit was really a good idea. Then the red boots. Ah, okay, I would say she rocked it for me. And then again, she was in company of the sister. That is Kendo Jenner. Kendo Jenner came wearing that black simple outfit with you know those high boots looking cool as always the model is also into simplicity i would say that these two sisters are the people who do not go for extra looks they usually be in simple things and when you look at kendo jenna's after party look she was still simple in that revealing outfit <laughs> when you look at the red carpets uh, outfit then the after party outfit the kind of kind of similar but the off the after party outfit was too revealing but well she has a nice body for it so it is okay to put on such things and lastly on my list we have the nigeria superstar banner boy the star rocked the met gala event wearing a blue and black suit from barbary with an interesting neckline and a trail but guess what see i am baleno suit event there were other people like four people putting on the same suit imagine that i'm sure these people were actually surprised when i took up event and you find patrick putting on the same outfit god are putting on the same outfit juma putting on the same outfit but someone here said a funny comment if this was in Uganda to Andy Gambian to Munanga when I'm a shopping in Gaza and in Yamagamba Katuambale could be pure but I would say uh, these suits are expensive and <laughs> okay well to go they well all looking great for the event well putting the blue up corner aside mbambo ngira yomo swag meter and as always this is where we get to post a picture or a video for you net batila ko hashtag ya glam and style net batila Motwe comment sizamwe, motwe rating zamwe. And this time around, Tabatele de Yo, Rihanna and Cadby, how they showed up for the Met Gala event. And let's see, Abanaba Instagram, for Instagram, Tabatele de Yo, Cadby to rate uh, or to, to, to check who rocked it better. Is it Cadby or Rihanna for you? But let's see what the Instagram guys have to say. Uh, there is Natasha Richards884 who says, Cardi B, but my heart belongs to Riri. It is okay. And then there is Oliver Shibaholic who says, Always Cardi B. Then 
Riyam6411 says, My Rihanna, yeah, don't cry. Then there is Quinisha9553 says, Cardi B. Then there is Benja who says, Cardi B, of course. And then there is Glamup7369 says, Cardi B. Johnny, Johnny says, Always and forever, Cardi B. Marvin UG says, Cardi. Oh, Cardi B, and then there is Sylvia too. Cardi B made it for me. Then there is Susan Susie 68 who says Cardi B, though I love really, really, mm, really, okay. Bambi, yadeo, yagara nyo rihana na yagamba. Cardi B, so I would say you're not taking sides. <laughs> then there is online showwear who says Cardi. Mm, then Arafat says Cardi B. Uh, then Manda. Mwanda Akram says Cardi B. Oh wow. Then there is Precious Mebo Nansubuga who says Cardi B. Daphne Pretty says none. <laughs> we didn't we did not have that that objective of nine. We wanted you to choose between Rihanna or Cardi B, but it is okay. And then there is Pretty Sissy who says Cardi B. Uh I am Clark. Until I call emoji we love. Then there is Casty who says Cardi B. Then Treasure Habibu says Cardi B. So when you get to see the comments, I get or oh, I get to understand that Cardi B rocked better for most of you guys, but it is okay, it is fashion, and you are free to decide any akukole day. Ngawe to abate day wali ku Instagram this time around and to who rocked it better for the Met Gala. Rihanna or Cardi B. But from the comments, Mulaganti Cardi B, yeah. Well, putting the swag meter aside, man, we get more glam trends, and this is where I bring you things every trending. Go echi ezidi ko, nga tochi ezidi ko, oba vidi chi ezidi on trend. And today on glam trends, I bring you the thigh high slit outfits. Yes, sweetheart, if you want to show off your beautiful brown thigh over your dark thigh this is the trend for you and it should not leave you behind in 2023 we are here to show off some skin uh, recently we had katrina who took the social media by storm brands uh, fashion awards people are like if you feel like you can go for a thong for those people who understand you can actually google google it if you don't know what a thong means uh you you, you, you know you can put it on with a thigh high slit outfit and be comfortable different people it, it is it is a trend for you girls if you want to rock the trend if you want to look sexy you want to probably you're going out for dinner with your man and you want to look sexy sweetheart a thigh high slit outfit is a yes for you so sweetheart go look out for that and at this point i take you to must have what should you have in your closet in your bag or at home and today on must have i bring you the deodorant yes sweetheart if you don't know what a deodorant is this is a substance that is applied on your body usually underarms to take away that bad smell have you ever been you know in public or in a meeting or somewhere and someone is sitting next to you it is a bit disgusting don't be that person so all you have to do is go to that shop go to that supermarket get yourself a deodorant and be on a safer side don't be this person about to go to dukan to go to kamuchifo everyone is like mm -mm, oh you have to oh you have to don't be that person so sweetheart just go to that shop get yourself a deodorant and we have actually the different types of deodorant we have the clinical deodorant uh, for some people are sweating on you and sometimes affects your skin you can go for those clinical deodorants then we have the roll-ons then we have the spray deodorants you can just choose what you prefer if you want the spray or the roll-on just go for it but sweetheart make sure that you have a deodorant in your closet at home in your bag when you're moving it's actually better for you to move with it every time you you know you're, you're moving out because you do not want to sweat and start you know going in abantu it's bad and disgusting so sweetheart get a deodorant yes as in you must have it 
And well, finally, we get to my favorite part, the fashion trash can, where we get to trash things that are out of trend, things that are no longer vibing with us when it comes to fashion. But sweetheart, today I am not trashing anything. I am giving you Akram, who is a fashion designer and a stylist. By the way, this guy, he yeah, is designing a chameleon and weasel on Gwanga Muji concert. It's an outfit, the man of Izaka, weasel, your outfit, Jiaja, Ayamba, Dengalinga, Batman. This guy, he yeah, is designing a bar. Well, let's see what Akram has to trash for us today. Uh, Manya Gang in Pitiba Akram Chimuli Bukuvam 246 Fashions Kampala, Uganda. A fashion designer, a stylist, a creator. Well, to do one, okay, get a coping to every out of trend over a via guaco. Carry moon to even to be a solo, Pamba, Munam, Itapona Gamba, eh, of Bukat, which ever be I am bad day. A via trend. Nero yetu gendo kwa gira kwa fast. Nenda kwa gira kubagi. This is what we call baggy pants. Simani wala mune hapa singa wazi mani. The baggy pants. Kanzo gira kwa katono nyo. Adie ya atazi mani aso uloku zite gira. Baggy pants is haba nga mpari. Nga wansi wanebe kutenyo. Kwa nune genda. Negeja. Makati. Anda. I hope you understand now. Change your gear. Copa pants. You have an pants. You wear cute ones. Gatu ano. Even ne ne nyo. In Paris, you touch a lot. You have a nice wear. Rolly wa. Musanga nga jamba doso kwe buza. Eh. Um vuka te kacha kuka yamba de. Sikate gete. Again on the pants. Do you know the Twitter bell bottoms? Bell bottoms is a little bell bottom. Let me first explain. Bell bottom na yote che te geza bell bottom. Yen paro kubanga ate yo eno wagureja e kute ate wano wansi ni ni ragaya yen paro ezo apa sadja baza ambala anga edda na ate katu umusango umusadja anga ajamba doso wolo kwe unyano gamba ha umusadja yamba di yen paro ya bachara kubate kati bachara yiva singo zikolachi o kuzambala ah tubi ende kuchindu chila lachi Inzo banga chagua konga katibo chamba la tichia kula nyuma uli le biya chamba de tu ina mu enga tozi ba ita posters there's those posters is a old fashion biya gua kwa just because babi kumi ya umungere ya advanced ukwa galero bika kabati abantu enga tezo store kwa wengine tu enga tozi store ba sopo njita gira tu kaba unga kadi kwa flat kadi kwa white what sorry, got to you out. Yeah, guaco. Well, that was the fashion trash can. That's what Akram had to trash. Bino Sibi Gambo Bianca. He is a designer and a stylist. So, ndo sa chaba kugambia munanga ba chitegira. Na yenga, it is time for you to update your closets. Get new things that are on trend. You know, nga wemba gambi wadi funayobu thai high slate outfits. Funayobu deodorant. We take your closet, your mobag yongo tumbler. Na yenga, we come to the end of today's show. It is Glam and Style on Galaxy TV. Jikonkoni, my name is Shibra Ainem Babas. Atenga siku lanzi kamu nange. Mela wano ne Godra and Juma on camera. Patrick on editing. Omana Muwala, Omana Mulunji. Sylvia on sound master glory. Well, I'll say, mba nko mawa next Saturday. Sawa zizi, musawa bili chitundu budi wa mukaga. Sweetheart, gamba anko, gamba singa, gamba sister. Osolo gamba kwa ne exuo. Ntimunange every Saturday Sabu Dichitunu Tuvela waliku Galaxy TV Glam and Style Till next time